guys, welcome back to Live Your Style. I'm gonna kind of change things up. I usually do decor or wedding planning stuff, but today I kind of wanted to show you guys my new regimen that I've been using. I'm gonna give you five things that have really been working for me. So if you like natural products and you wanna know how to make your skin look real nice, then let's get started. Number one, super simple, pretty obvious, drink more water. And also if you guys can get alkaline water, it is super good for you. You wanna flush out the toxins, it boosts the collagen. Water, you can never go wrong. Area, don't laugh, then I'm gonna choke. Number two, brace yourself. We're gonna use coconut oil, you're gonna use a tablespoon of it, put it in your mouth, and you're gonna swish it around for 20 minutes. I know it sounds gross and a little bit scary. It's called oil pulling and it pulls all the bacteria out of your gums. But not only that, it makes your teeth white. I discovered this. Put a tablespoon in your mouth, hop in the shower, clean your room, do something, put a timer on your phone, spit it out in a trash can, not down the sink because it will hurt your pipes. You know what I mean? Number three, best case scenario, try to get facials. Can't afford a facial? I'm gonna show you some products to use in lieu of getting facials that will really help cleanse your skin, pull out any of the toxins that are in it, and make you have beautiful glowing skin. This is a daily exfoliator, activated charcoal and green tea. I saw this on Shark Tank, and it's stinking amazing, okay? I buy all this stuff on Amazon, and it helps reduce the lines of either wrinkles or acne scars or any other scars you have on your face. You wake up feeling really rejuvenated and fresh, and then we're gonna do a mask. Ready, set, go. The second part of a facial is you want to do a mask. Equal parts tea mask with equal parts warm water. So two teaspoons of tea mask and we'll do two teaspoons of the warm water. Put your headband back on because it's cute, you know. This is the Rituali Tea Origins Mask and the best thing about it is it's natural and it's tea based. So green tea has like a ton of antioxidants in it and I mean, look, there's like little bits of green tea in this, which I love. You're gonna leave this sucker on for 10 minutes. It has a amino acid in it that relieves stress, pulls out impurities, calms the skin, makes you brighter and tighter. Well, maybe not tighter, but definitely brighter. The Origins also has a body mask, feeling rosy. Here's a funny one. Exfoliate and moisturize your elbows. But your elbows tend to get really dry, they don't get a lot of love, and when you're in a dress, you know, you want them to be looking nice. So I'm gonna do this while we got the mask on. And it smells so good. You can put this on your entire body. However, I'm just gonna keep it PG and do it on my elbows. Then rinse it off. Back to the coconut oil, great moisturizer. Use a dollop of that, put it on the elbows, and you're good to go. After we take off the mask, we're gonna put a light, very light layer of the rosehip oil. Last but not least, the most important thing you can do for your skin, sunscreen. Now, not only sunscreen for your face, but sunscreen for your lips. I'm gonna link all of these things below, especially the Origins products. They have four different tea-based scents in the body mask and the facial mask, so I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. I'm gonna give you guys a bonus tip, because why not, right? This is a baby jar full of Windex, and this is a toothbrush. Windex, it's not gonna hurt your ring. I'm telling you, this does wondrous tricks on your ring. Leave it in there for a few minutes, and then use a toothbrush that you don't use on your teeth, and scrub some of that dirt off, and your ring will be so shiny and so lovely. And that's just an extra little tip. All right, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I actually have never done an outro with a toothbrush or without my makeup on. <laughs> but there's a first for everything, and I think it's important to be honest about how some people's skin is not perfect. Makeup does hide a lot of things, but everyone struggles with acne or scars or sunspots, and we're all in this together. So I hope these tips help you. They sure do help me. Thanks so much to Origins for the fun products. We had a blast filming this video, and leave me a comment below if you guys have any other tips on getting your skin to be glowing and beautiful for your wedding day or any other event. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. If you have not subscribed, don't forget to click and check out some more videos if you have some time. Bye-bye.